What is a spike? I'm going to be slightly calmer this time. Okay, a spike is simply a research piece. You'll often hear teams say, we want to put a spike through it. Okay. What they're referring to is the restaurant spike. That tall, thin spike that orders get put on, so that, you know you can still read the ticket, but they're in a safe and secure place. What often happens is, as part of refinement, as part of going through the work and understanding it, is you'll find bits you don't understand. You don't understand why that's there. You don't understand what they're talking about. You don't understand how to solve it. There is something to research further. The extreme programming world brought out the spike and it's been adopted across most of the agile world now as a really good way of looking at it. Okay, It's a research task. So you may be presented with a problem and the team comes up and they can say, look, we can see four different ways of solving this. One of them we think we can just discard, but the other three, they all have merit and we don't know which is the better one to take. We don't know what the pros and cons of these technologies are or whatever the answer is. Can we spike it? We can't estimate because we don't know. Can we spike it? Really between the team, including the product owner, they're going to have that discussion about how much time is it worth spending on this research task, this spike. Even in the Scrum world, we tend to make these time bound. Instead of going through story points and things, we'll just say, I reckon it's going to take a couple of people about a day. So product owner, is it OK if we take that a couple of people's work for a day to understand that problem better? And at the end of it, we're going to sit down and we're going to talk it through. As a team, this is what we've learned. Okay. And hopefully at the end of that, of those three technologies, you can turn around and you can say, well, of those three, technology A, it was no good. You know, it will probably do what we want, but, you know, it's too slow. B and C are pretty similar, but C is cheaper. You know, we reckon B is probably better long term, but there's a bigger ramp up time and C is cheaper to implement, it's cheaper to license. Where do we want to go? And as a team, we can make that discussion. We can make that decision. Where do we want to go? Do we want to go with the cheap option that's going to be faster? Or do we want to go with what is potentially the better long term option today? It's questions like that. What can then happen is that original story that kicked off the spike can come back into refinement with a better idea. You now know more, you're in a better state. So good teams will have a variation of traditional features and you know, user stories coming through, as well as research pieces, trying to understand the problem they're trying to solve, and how best to solve it. You know, good backlogs are not solely lists of things to add to your product. They're going to be questions that need to be answered to make sure that you're building the right things in the right way. And that's the purpose of a spike. If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.